Hi there, I'm Andre from Peak Motorcycles and I'm here at Eichmer 2024. And as you can see, I'm here at the Royal Enfield stand. So Royal Enfield have this very ambitious plan to launch four new bikes a year and they're hitting it, if not beating it. So just prior to the show, they announced the Bear, which was a um, scrambler take on the 650 twin. Uh, they also have the 650 Classic, which you can see over my shoulder. They've also uh, launched a couple of e-bikes, which you can see over there. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you all of these on the stand and see what you think. So then first up, we have a first look at the Royal Enfield Classic 650 Twin. Uh, now you'll already be familiar with that engine because it's been in the Interceptor and the Continental GT for a while. But now we finally see it in a single seat uh, Classic. Uh, and I think that looks rather nice. Um, I know it's kind of styling. The styling is a lot like the uh, old 500 Classic, but honestly, I'm sure this engine will bring that along in leaps and bounds. Uh, coming up looking at the dash and seeing just all the finishes, all the that sort of Royal Enfield chrome work up there. Um, yeah, no TFT dash here, but then again, it doesn't need it. I suspect that one there might well be the tripper navigation. But even looking at all of the controls here and stuff, it's just really, really nicely finished. I think Royal Enfield really do this extremely well. And for how they're priced, uh, yeah, these bikes are beautiful. Next up, I can show you the, another uh, 650 Classic. Uh, this one in a rather cool looking sort of uh, burgundy, metallic burgundy and white. Um, yeah, slightly different Royal Enfield logo on the side. That is a decal, not hand painted, but still, that is quite special. And then here we have another one in that classic green that was also featured on the Bullet 500. I'm just giving you a look around the front. They've still got that little peak uh, over the over the headlamp there. Uh, but yeah, really, really nicely finished. Uh, I'm sure these bikes are going to do super well. So here we have the Royal Enfield Flying Flea. Um, maybe some divisive looks. Uh, it does have that girder fork at the front, which looks kind of interesting. The bike itself is very, very slim. It's, uh, it's got an in-frame motor rather than a hub motor. Um, but yeah, it's certainly modern. It certainly doesn't look like anything that Royal Enfield have made before. Uh, it does have uh, a rear seat, so it looks like it is equipped to carry a pillion, which is kind of interesting. Not all of these small e-bikes are. On this one, these are the, this is the colour scheme that we've seen the spy shots for before. Um, I'll just give you a close-up look. You can see you know, just some of the detail around the engineering on that fork and just how cool that is. Uh, even coming up here, seeing the extra, I'm guessing those are either indicators or driving lights. Uh, the little Royal Enfield in red uh, on the cables. Yeah, just really, really nicely finished. And even the mirrors, you know, haven't always been Royal Enfield strength. But the fact that how they've put those on there, you know, they actually go really well uh, with those brown hand grips, uh, which, does, which does match the seat. Now this bike doesn't have the rear foot pegs, doesn't have the rear seat. Um, you can see the holes where they would go on the swing arm down there. Let me give you a close look at that back wheel. It really is nicely made in that green finish uh, as well with that single Viber uh, caliper uh, and disc. Uh, if you can see through the wheel there, this is a belt drive bike. It doesn't have a chain. So that should help to reduce, uh, reduce noise when it's going. I'm sure it'll just be whisper quiet. And coming over here, we have another take on the Royal Enfield 650 Twin. This one is the Bear. This is their Scrambler-styled bike. So as you can see, it's got the, the sort of the, 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 the number plates on the side uh, for a number. I think only one of the trim levels actually comes with comes with the number. It's got that stripe. Uh, you know, just the fit and finish on these really is lovely. This one has, a, I think it's a, a TFT dash up there, so very different to what was on the 650 Classic. But nevertheless, that's quite a tidy looking bike. Coming around to give you a look from the front, it's got that sort of Scrambler-style uh, block tyre, there's a bit of clearance on that front mudguard uh, and a single biber uh, disc brake out the front. I mean, I think that looks really nice. Uh, here we have it in the white and green trim. So the white fuel tank, the green frame with the Royal Enfield and that 249 uh, on the side panel. And uh, yeah, uh, for those of you who liked an Interceptor but didn't like it enough to buy one, maybe this change of styling is enough to persuade you now. Though not new for this year, uh, these were actually launched last year. Here we have the 450 Himalayan. Here's one of the rare ones that's actually had the tubeless wheels. I know those have been quite difficult to come by. Coming down this side, we have the Royal Enfield Hunter 350, also available in the green color scheme. Now, as we get down the back, uh, I know these are a bit, a bit older now, but this is the 650 Twin Continental GT. So it looks pretty cool. And then the other side, we have uh, the Interceptor 650 that has now definitely been around for a while. That's the same platform that's used across all of these bikes. So Royal Enfield really making the best use of the R&D there. Uh, the Intercept 650 also available in this black. Here we have the 650 Twin Shotgun in the white and also available in the green. And here we have another Continental GT. It's rather nice silver and orange. 
Continuing with the platform engineering theme, this is the second bike that Royal Enfield have put that uh, 450 uh, water-cooled engine from the Himalayan in. This is the Gorilla 450. It actually looks quite tidy. You know, it looks modern, doesn't hark back too much to, uh, I suppose, Royal Enfield's heritage, but I do quite like the look of that. Uh, again, it's got that, that TFT dash. Everything's pretty straightforward, quite a funky paint job. Also available in this sort of bronze color. I think those are going to do really well. It does seem to become quite a crowded market for that. And while some Royal Enfields really have their uniqueness, um, I think that's just them making the most of the, of the engine. Uh, here we have the Gorilla, uh, also available in yellow, uh, with, a, with purple writing, with a purple Royal Enfield there on the tank. This one's got some luggage on the back. Uh, not sure how long those would stay up, but I'm sure they're secure, otherwise they wouldn't make them. But yeah, uh, certainly pushes the luggage nice and high. And yeah, nice looking bike. Just coming down the last few, here we have the classic 350. I do love that in the chrome and the green. Uh, it's a lot of cleaning but it really is a fabulous looking bike. Here we have the classic 350 in red. Uh, and then just beyond it, we have the Bullet 350 in black uh, with those bronze highlights. Then down to the Super Meteors. This is the cruiser based around that 650 twin available in the green and also the red. And as I come down to the end, uh, we have the Meteor 350, which I really love actually. And I do like it in that brown and that baby blue. And then if I come up and over, I think the last one of the standard bikes is this Meteor 350 in green. Just, just a few customs on the stand today. This is one of them. Um, so it's pretty cool, it's a Death Spray custom. It's a Dakar bike, best based around the 650 Twin. Uh, yeah, it's got a road book fitted to it up there. And this rather lurid uh, pink and blue leopard skin print paint job. And then here we have a, a 650 shotgun made into what well, it's called for Force Majeure. That looks like a drag bike. That thing looks absolutely nuts. And I think the bike that I'll finish on is one of the prettiest ones that we have here on the stand. It's a 650 Twin Classic, I think, that's had this rather nice red, white and blue paint job done to it. And with the gold wheels, that really sets it off. Wow, love it. So that is it. That is the end of my uh, coverage from the Royal Enfield stand for 2024 here at Eichmer. Uh, a really interesting mix of bikes from uh, the Gorilla 450, you know, making more use of that engine out of the Himalayan. Uh, seeing the new yet old uh, classic 650, finally seeing that 650 twin uh, in a classic frame and styling. And then last but not least, the super modern electric flying fleas. Uh, doesn't bear that much resemblance to the original flying flea. However, uh, yeah, you know, uh, I wish them well. It's nice to see that there are still some new things coming out, uh, some interesting engineering on them, particularly that front suspension. And the fact that they can carry two people um, can only be a good thing. So I hope that's been interesting and useful. If it has, please check out my other content from Eichmer and maybe I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.